pulling the spaghetti squash apart. And like I said, just continue to pull the sides down and you're gonna have a lot of spaghetti squash. This makes about four plates worth, four servings worth. I'm gonna keep pulling it. And it already looks and smells absolutely amazing. Spaghetti squash doesn't have that much flavor, which is why you have to flavor it. And I'm gonna grab a bowl and toss that in. There we go. Okay, here is my bowl. And I'm just gonna hold it up and let all of it fall back in. It's really, really hot. So be very, very careful. I'm just gonna continue to keep scraping it all. You don't wanna let any of it get to waste. Okay, add it all in. Okay, and there's one. Now I'm going to move back over here and stir my onions and mixed garlic. And the next thing I'm gonna do is add in my heavy cream. It's bubbling away, you wanna whisk it. And this is gonna thicken once we add butter into it because butter is a natural thickener. Anytime you add it in, it at, um, instantly thickens up any sauce. Okay, I'm gonna season it, season it with a little bit of salt and pepper. Go. Stir it up. I'm gonna let that reduce for about a minute or so. Not that long. Move back over here. And also, you don't have to use the peeled shrimp um, skins. I just put it up as an option. Okay, I'm gonna grab this and start scraping this one. It looks absolutely delicious. I can't stop saying that because it looks so good. Scrape all of it down. Okay. Almost done. And when you clean the spaghetti squash, you want to make sure you get all the seeds out. Um, spaghetti squash is very similar to a pumpkin because of the seeds that it has on the inside of it. They look just like pumpkin seeds. They taste just like pumpkin seeds. So you want to treat it as if it was a pumpkin when cleaning it. These are really, really hard to keep still. So you, that's why you want to use two forks because you don't want to touch it since it's really hot. Okay, dump it all in. It's really stringy. I'm gonna continue to keep going. Sometimes the bottom of it is really hard, which is why you hear it like scraping a little bit, but that doesn't mean it's not cooked. You can actually tell from the sides of it um, if they look like it's been like absorbed with like water, then it's done. Okay, move this over. And next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna season it with a little salt and pepper. Very little, because it's gonna go right into that sauce. Um, now I'm just gonna to toss it a little. Okay. And I'm gonna add the tomatoes in to our sauce. It's been over here reducing. Add all of it in and mix it all together. Now if it begins to get really thick, the only thing you have to do is add a tablespoon of water. Which is not gonna do anything differently to the sauce. Turn it back up to high and continue to keep stirring it because then it's gonna become a really nice consistency. 
Okay. While that is coming back up to center, I'm gonna start plating. Here it is. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add my shrimp into my spaghetti squash. And like I said, I only, um, I'm not sure if I said it, but I only pulled enough for one plate out of the spaghetti squash. I'm going to do more, but I'm just going to do enough for the plating. Okay, now that's mixed really nicely. We're going to add about a tablespoon of butter. My butter is pretty soft because I let it sit out a little bit. Um, which is perfectly fine. And I'm just going to stir this up. Oops. Stir it up. And continue to keep stirring until the butter melts. You can turn it off. Make sure that you taste. Needs a little bit more salt and pepper. Because heavy cream takes away a lot of flavor. Okay, stir it up again. And I'm going to start plating. So first I'm gonna start off, there you go. I'm gonna start off with my spaghetti squash and shrimp. Put it in the very center. Plating is going to be really messy, so we're gonna clean it up afterwards anyways. So I'm gonna add all of this on. Just like that. Whoops. There we go. Now, I'm going to take a napkin. There we go. And I'm going to just clean up around it. Just like so. I'm going to take my scallops that have been resting and are really, really juicy. And I'm just going to plate them. All around because they look absolutely stunning next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to take my sauce that has its beautiful tomatoes on it and just put them on it doesn't matter if the sauce gets like all over the place because that is exactly what I'm going for more rustic appeal And I also, I'm going to move this over for just a quick second, have some parsley that I'm going to roughly chop. I'm going to cut the stems off and just chop it up. Watch your fingers. Just like that. Okay. And I'm going to put the parsley on the very top. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a couple of shrimp onto the plate. Okay. Add a tiny bit more, more parsley. And I'm going to sprinkle it with a little bit of olive oil. The way that you keep it from going everywhere and you give it very little dressings of olive oil is you hold your finger on the tip of it to block some of the um, olive oil from coming. Okay. Clean it up. And I'm going to take some lemon and just let the juice come out. Just like that. That is beautiful. Okay, let me grab one more napkin and wipe around it, just like so. And there you have it. Spaghetti squash with sauteed shrimp, tomatoes, and pincer uh, scallops with a seafood um, pan sauce. Thank you for watching. Bye.